What is up guys? God bless you all and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna get some work done on my Nissan Sentra. I got the casing out, everything looks good. And I pull out my differential right here. And now I found my issue. So yeah, what's up? I hope all of you are doing great. Um, right now, I'm on my way to the shop. Um, I went ahead and dropped the Sentra transmission a couple days ago and I have it on the trunk right now. The plan for today is actually try to find out what's happening. So the car right now, it's not going on every gear as it used to. So it goes on first and second, but like when it comes to like three fifth, it feels very, very hard and it doesn't want to go in. And this is a problem. Again, my theory is that when the speed sensor got pushed in by accident, a little bit of it actually went inside the transmission, which actually is holding a few gears to move. So uh, I'm gonna find out what's going on. So yeah, what I'm gonna do, I see you guys in the shop. So yeah, let's go. I want to take a moment to give a huge shout out to Dean Don Parro all the way from Naga City, Kamsur. You guys can see on screen he's at Nissan. And if you want to be on my next video, all you got to do is send me your pictures to my email. My email is on screen. So yeah, huge shout out to Dean Don. And now let's go back to the video. Just got to the shop. The car is actually not here. It's in another place, but transmission is actually right here. I actually got it uh, in today. I had it on the trunk of my Aston Camry. So last time we replaced the speed sensor, which is right here. The whole sensor actually went inside. And if you guys look closer, the speed sensor is actually right here. And I have my gear selected over here. So I'm assuming that something fell and therefore I cannot go into gear. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attempt to pull this out, inspect through everything to see if I can find what it is. If I can't find nothing, we're gonna pull out the case, which uh, it would be nice for the video, but I'm not looking forward to do it because I never done it and I don't wanna screw it up. This is my only transmission. And if it's this one, get my stuff then most likely I'm gonna pull out the one six and put the SR20, which everything is here is good to go. You guys know this engine. Uh, we made good power with this, uh, 11 pounds a few years ago, and this will be a beast on the Sentra. But again, I wanna keep the one six for now. Uh, so yeah, let's get this done. Let's go. All right, so I went ahead and I pulled out my speed sensor. It's actually right there. And you guys can see the hole should be on this side right here. Uh, it's actually right here. I kind of like uh, move it around and I move my gear selectors over here. Trying to see if I have the chance for whatever it is to come out. But it won't be that easy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start removing everything uh, to try to separate the transmission. This is my first time. Never done it. And I don't know how this is going to go. Hopefully I can figure it out. If not, then not sure what's going to happen, but yeah, let's go. All right, so I went ahead and removed uh, the first cover. It was actually 16 mils. And so far I got something in here and I don't know what this thing could be. My camera is not going to focus, but I got a few debris uh, over here. Uh, you guys can see it has a lot of like probably metal shavings. So I don't know what the heck it is, but uh, just want to show you that real quick. Um, gonna try to continue removing what goes in here. We got this uh, washer over here. Let's put it right here with the rest. Um, I got another one over here, I think. Um, yeah, I'm just learning as I go. Um, so yeah, let me figure this out. And when it gets time to remove the full casing, 
I'll I, I show you guys, all right? There it is. So there it is. Um, this one is oh, it has a lot of silicone in there. It looks clean though. You guys can see all the silicone coming out. But yeah, one thing out. I'm gonna go ahead and start removing these guys right here. I was looking into here and I don't see a C clamp in there at all. So um, yeah, I'm gonna start pulling these ones over here and see if that one pulls out. So yeah, let's try that now. Oh. All right, so I got all the casing bolts out. Everything is loose, so now I guess I'm gonna have to use uh, some force in order to actually uh, separate the case. And that is if I don't have a C, uh, C clip over here, which I don't see it. I saw uh, people, some of them have something here. It doesn't seem like I do. Uh, but yeah, again, this is my learning experience and share with all of you and I hope you guys can learn something from it so yeah let's try to uh, separate this now let's go so successfully I got the casing out I actually didn't have a C clamp on the top didn't have nothing here everything looks good and it is very it has a lot of metal shavings everywhere but I think I found my issue. There it is. See that there, right there? I think that's my issue right there. I think that's my issue right there. I don't think that's supposed to be like that. I honestly don't think so. It could be wrong, but... So, uh... Yeah, let's uh, take a look and start taking things apart. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove uh, the forks over here. So I have two bolts over here and I have another two on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and try to remove those so I can remove this mechanism so I can put out the differential. I think my issue is underneath. Um, everything is pretty loose. You guys can see how everything moves. But it's metal shavings everywhere. You guys can see how bad this is. So planning is try to remove as much as possible to clear it up and then uh, pray to God that I can assemble it back uh, with no, no leaks because it's, this one is it's pretty, pretty, we got messed up last time with a speed sensor. So I got like shavings, when I say shavings, everywhere. Everywhere, you guys can see how it looks. So uh, yeah, let's get a time lapse. And this is terrifying, but it's a very good learning experience. So uh, yeah, let's go. All right, so you guys saw in the time lapse, I went ahead, remove uh, reverse, which is right here. Where is it? Where did it go reverse? It's right here. Just go ahead, pull it up. After that, I remove uh, three tanks that I had here, here and here. Then after that, I went ahead and pull the rod, which is this one right here. You guys saw it, pull out the forks. After that, I was able to pull this one out and then pull the whole gear set, which is right here. And then I uh, pull out my differential right here. 
and now I found my issue which is right here <laughs> so obviously the car wasn't going on every gear because it was getting stuck and here is my speed sensor ring right here <laughs> there it is and after moving this you guys can see how the whole thing just actually moved now freely so yeah what I'm gonna do now since I'm here I'm gonna go ahead and clean up everything you guys can see uh, how many metal shavings I have you can see all the metal shavings that the gear has so I'm gonna go ahead clean up everything make sure everything is quickly clean and I'm gonna go ahead and after that assemble everything back silicone everything and after that uh you should be good to go in the car so uh yeah let me give me a few hours to make sure everything is nice and clean and then after that uh i should uh, i should have all my gears which means we're gonna go to the track very soon look at this <laughs> it's metal shavings everywhere but uh yeah i mean you live you learn this is my experience it sucks that I'm gonna, I'm not gonna have a speed sensor working uh, because obviously the sensor comes through here, you guys can see, and then that gear thingy, the gear ring, which it got messed up, it goes on the differential, and actually it reads from actually here. So yeah, um, I will need a new transmission in order to have a speed sensor working but uh this will do for now and yeah i'm gonna have to figure out a new way to enable launch control when i go to the car but for yeah yeah this is my 1.6 uh ga 16d transmission apart let's clean up and we should drive the car in this video so yeah let's go all right so some time has passed everything is clean let me show you and boom yeah here we have my 1.6 transmission clean um, i would say it's like 99 percent perfect it still has some metal shaving in some areas but uh compared to how it was it should be a lot better um you guys can see how everything here looks everything moved the way it's supposed to be that's why i couldn't get in gear because i had the speed sensor uh ring or whatever it was stuck in here so my fork it won't go up and down and that was my issue here i have the other part of the casing clean this one also looks amazing i went degrease everything use very cleaner use my wire brush all over the edges to make sure um, i have good contact and now what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and get you on time lapse i'm going to start assembling everything for the first time so uh, again this is no tutorial i'm just sharing my experience with you and um, yeah, the inside is gonna be amazingly clean. The exterior, not so much, but I just need to get the car going. So yeah, let's go.
all right so i have my transmission all back together like i said i focus on the interior if i had a power washer i would actually clean up the exterior a little better but uh yeah everything is together and i have to wait about 24 hours before i put any gear oil but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and try to actually start putting this one on the car so i'm gonna clean up because obviously the car the central is not here so i'm gonna like i did previously I'm gonna clean up put this transmission on my trunk and then i go where the car is and attempt to actually uh put this one by myself because i don't have any help today uh but yeah let's go all right so here we have the car <clears throat> you guys saw the last video how the transmission went in so this one is out transmission is back in the back because i had it on the camry so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and actually get this one on and let's do some youtube magic all right and boom yeah just like that the car is back on the ground engine is back in everything is good to go i still haven't set up the car yet but um just want to make sure just want to make sure that car is going on all gears first and here we are neutral first second third fourth and fifth already the transmission got gear oil the clutch is feeling good as well so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put the camera out set up the car you guys heard the car first start off we are back i'm gonna double check because i missed to connect my coolant temperature sensor and i realized that i may have a slightly few leak over here because this is wet and it shouldn't be wet so i'm gonna inspect this and then after that we're gonna go for a drive but so far so good yeah let's go right we are back and i'm done here Your leg is gone, nothing, nothing, nothing. And I actually did my wiring for the temp sensor or the coolant temperature sensor that's done. Right now I'm making sure the car gets to operating temperature so we can go for a ride. I haven't drive the car like in three weeks, so obviously I had an issue, but now it should be a lot better, so yeah. Get comfortable and let's go. And you just want to go and that was the first and second thing only oh man i can't wait to go back to the track have good oil pressure it's only 87 iats this car is good
Start sounds scared. He feels good. He's going to all gears. You guys saw a beating I just did. One, two, three there. Ready for the truck again. All right, so there you guys have it. The B13 is actually back on the street. It feels amazing. Probably I forgot how it felt because it's been a long time since I haven't drive it. But the car feels good. You guys saw one, two, three. It went on all gears when it was on and when it was actually off. So I'm very happy. So that's gonna be it for this video. So thank you guys for watching. You guys have a nice day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend. Consider becoming a member so we can do more cool things with this car and I will see you on the next one. God bless you all and stay safe.